message. And we are recording. Oh, shit. Back, back, back. All right. Hey, how are you going? Welcome to Impact Driven Style with Tilly and Angela. Hope you guys are going well and staying safe. Um, social distance is amazing. Um, I actually went shopping with mum this morning to the shopping centre, just Woolies, and it was really nice having people forced to be at least two metres away from me. <laughs> so it was just like, oh, I don't have to worry about anyone. Just get away from me. <laughs> How are you going? And do the self-isolation for the rest of your life and not worry at all. Well, I mean, it really suits my personality, which is great. <laughs> yeah, I kind of miss being crammed in population. Also. I miss things being open and being able to do things. But at the same time, I like that two meters. Yeah, I, know. I just miss free hug. Oh, yeah, hugs are good. Uh, we'll get there. Oh, really not for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do our yeah. thing. And I cannot wait to see how you react to this. Mm, yeah, so we've got another three random characters to challenge each of us again um, with a few screenshots. I have no idea. So I can't remember who went first last time, so I, uh, I just did it randomly. I have no idea who this is or what show it is. Um, she definitely okay so she looks like confident um she looks quite like actually kind of quite stylish in a sense but in a, a quirky kind of way so all her colors are very dull and what I would call like a um like a stylus set or like you know you go and you get the you know you know when they have like the 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 rooms set out in department stores and it's like you can buy this preset kitchen and stuff like that that's what I kind of say it's not it's stylish in that you know she she likes fashion and to look good and she looks like she's got a bit of money to invest in it. So I'd, like, I'd say that she's a career woman <laughs> or something. Um, but at the same time, in terms of the colours and everything, it's quite dull. So, but she, she definitely expressing it in some different ways in terms of texture. So she's got quite a lot of texture happening in all of that, even like with the top one with that. I really like the necklaces. Um, I don't think they suit what she's wearing at all. So going together with those things, sometimes I feel like it's a bit like, actually no, looking at her a bit more, I, I don't know. There's something just a bit wrong about it. Something that I'm kind of like, I feel like she's trying, but- the show, but you can sense it yeah yeah I could just say it like it doesn't quite go together like all the stuff she's picked is quite nice but how she's put them together is a bit weird like except for the the um, bottom with the pants and the top which I from the side looks quite good um, but yeah so she just kind of like, looks like a she she likes you know works hard all that kind of stuff but and she wants to be stylish, but her, something's just kind of missing. So this is kind of someone that I would look at and go, from first instance, I would be like, oh, yeah. Mm -mm. But then on closer inspection, I'd be like, something's not quite sitting for me right. So, um, yeah, and this is really particular with the, the snake skin shorts, I think they are. Um, yeah. So that is actually a really cool statement item. Um, that I would never personally wear, but it's a cool, it's a big statement item. Like, it's like, I'm here, I'm, you know, do all this shit. And the top, and even just the cut of the pants, it just doesn't quite look right. Like, I would have them as a high waisted, give a lot more shape. The top is too kind of loose. The frills the, on the sleeves are too much. And then you've got this quite busy necklace. So, 
and the bag doesn't go either. It's, and it's all just, so there's something, I can't quite put my finger on it. It's actually really confusing my brain. Um, <laughs> so, so meeting her, I would be like, okay, this is a big personality, all this kind of stuff, but something's a bit wrong. What, what do you reckon? <laughs> anywhere close this is stumped so, <laughs> uh, i just wanted to take revenge for the oh, fuck you. For those of you who haven't seen the previous episode of us doing so please go and do watch she 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 screwed me up a couple of times and i needed to defend my honor Fair enough, fair enough. Ta-da. <laughs> this is me defending my honor. I knew you wouldn't have uh, recognized her. And the name of the show is Two Broke Girls. Oh, I've heard of this. I've never watched it, though. Good. I know you wouldn't. <laughs> so she, she doesn't have a house. She would sleep on, a, like, a bus station. Yeah. However... I mean, now she's crashing with a girl who works at a, like a cafe, like a, yeah. Yeah. And that's her job as well. She's a waitress as well. Okay. So there are two waitresses now kind of roomies in a, yeah, she has a, like a bunk bed. But she used to be super rich until her father got bankrupt. So she knows fashion. She used to have a stylist and she used to be on the season and all of that. She studied in Varden University, but something's not right. That's her personality because she was like always daddy's little girl who've been da, da, da. now she's trying to style herself with whatever she has and whatever she could pack and leave the house before like the bank took everything. Yeah. So she's trying to mix, mix and match and that pearl necklace, the hor- horrendous necklace she's having on. Yeah, that, that's her favorite item. So she doesn't really know where she stands. She just wants to have one pair of expensive shit. And the top left, the one that is actually looking good, the one with the pants, mm. that's her through the season. Now she's it matured as a person. Yeah. Now she doesn't think the 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 snake skin short is very sad it's very she's comfortable and she's herself so she grew through the season through the eighth season and tada uh, yeah that, that actually makes a lot of sense so yeah and I, yeah. yeah that definitely like the with that little bit of backstory those the ones that are kind of like throwing together all wrong it's like yeah. i trying to hold on to something that and she's she's in a she's in so i'll I'll tell you the story of the photos please the one with the snake skin Mm. so she she had like one luggage of her stuff like basically like you and darling (laughs) but this time she wanted to buy stuff and she has no money so her friend the one that you cannot see that you can just see an arm she took her to a donation shop like where people donate stuff and the face she's making, she's like, what's the smell? And she's saying, that's Fabrice, okay? <laughs> so that's her first character. The second is the one on the side with the pearl necklace. So she finally has a business idea that is just selling cupcakes. Yeah. So she's, a star, she's more confident and she's less bubbly. She's, more, she's happier and she's trying to accept that she's not going to be that rich person, but a person. Yeah. And then we have the one down that yeah. she's my cool and she's a business lady and you can see the cupcakes so they have their own cupcake shop now yeah 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 no, I, love that. I love how like you can see how the character develops in their style as well it's so cool exactly. oh, i'm such a geek i love it <laughs> okay let's go to the next one <laughs> there we go i i love emma she's so she, good my- <laughs> absolute favorite okay she's so young here how old is this thing i mean not that she's old now but i'm just saying she's at least 15 years old i'd say it's like depressingly old it's like something that yeah. so yeah, I, gorgeous god she's still gorgeous but i'm just saying i've never seen anything with her that young holy, holy shit it's huh like what 17 years ago damn uh, okay Fuck. Okay, go for it. Okay, so 
that is so religiously that <laughs> she looks so religious somehow <laughs> she looks like a nun to be okay um what i see obviously it's very cold i'm i'm feeling very east european of some sort but um um she's like a mother character because obviously she doesn't have time for herself i mean the hair um the layers are uh so randomly just put together um uh, the 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 thing she has under the red uh, jackety thingy uh that's really ugly so like together so i would say and and she has such a small feet <laughs> she's very tall for that feet she, is she cinderella she's cinderella but anyway uh and the one that she's wearing something loose yeah she looks like a nun um she's busy she's in trouble like no not in she's going through something obviously she is like a mom or a wife that is looking for something so she's absolutely forgot herself i would say but her face and her makeup is still on point and nice which means she used to have that she used to not be this messed up i reckon uh she's obviously not uh she cannot afford anything better i would say so she's not really rich in the movie here and um i would say she's definitely not in any sort it's not a love story of some sort like she's not dating anybody she's not charming at all so like there is no nothing to show her body she forgot her femininity of some sort mm. uh or she's trying to hide it or whatever and uh and the house is messy as well so yeah that's what i get yeah that's, that's actually really really accurate so this is love actually um and i have seen love actually yeah I don't remember this at all. Holy shit. I have I have watched it a billion years ago. Oh, I just know the name now. Like I do not remember the movie. Classic, right? Um so yeah, her character is married with like I think their kids are like eight to twelve or something like that. Um and she's going through her, that personal crisis of um her husband having a bit of an affair with the secretary or something like that. I I cannot remember. Jesus. I I know I have watched it like a few times actually. Yeah. So um so yeah, so this is like something that I think so it's in England, it's winter and so yeah, it is cold. Um but I also think her character is like styled perfectly for who she is because you, and you see this with a lot of women who are busy mothers where they they kind of like they become disconnected to their body and they just want to cover it up because they don't really feel sexy or like yeah they just want to hide it um and she's really just hiding everything is so big for her <laughs> and oversized you can't see any shape it's all gray except for that red which is like totally oversized um so you, yeah you just see you know a lot of shame and uncertainty especially going through what she's going through with her husband at the moment um so yeah so yeah i think spot on with everything that you said which is really cool um yeah i love her she's so good i love her so funny let's just like celebrate emma okay let's go to the next one. Oh my god so orange uh i just i have to give my eyes a minute to adjust from the grays to the <laughs> <laughs> um so what i see immediately is kind of like i know the show sorry you know the show yeah i know the show i haven't watched it I, it's is it two and a half men yes yeah yeah cool i know i haven't really watched it though but yeah. I know from what I'm seeing, it's like daggy American dad. That's kind of what I'm saying. Like just daggy American dad. 
Um, so he's going to have like a sangler on up under anything. Why do you need a t-shirt underneath a polo shirt? Who does that? Seriously. Yeah, yeah, Duh. So bad. <laughs> and they're like daggy jeans. Um, <laughs> he's got this- I love that he's having one jean throughout 10 years. Yeah. And the same bout as well, which is really- Oh, yeah. Duh. They're to get, they come together. You only need one bout. <laughs> it's just stone on it. <laughs> um, so, I mean, to me, he's like, he's optimistic. He's got like a optimistic personality, even though, you know, everything about it isn't that spectacular. I say that because it's all like quite warm colours that he's wearing. So it's quite bright, optimistic colours that he's wearing. So... So it's like quite inviting. He looks, you know, someone you could approach and, you know, it, it, he's not trying to, he's, he's warm. He's, you know, a bit more of a loving character, um, even if he's like totally dorky. Um, so, yeah, there's no form fitting at all, even though he tucks it in every, who tucks in a shirt at like a polo shirt as well? It's so weird. Um, so he doesn't have a good sense of style. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he doesn't have a good sense of style at all. Like even like, I think the sleeves are all, it's all that really classic, like slouch fit stuff. Um, so he just wants to be comfortable. He just wants to get shit done. Um, he doesn't care about what he looks like really at all to the extent of being stylish. So, um, doesn't have a massive budget as you can tell, but I also, I'd say he, he, you know, judging from the fact that he's got the same belt in all of those ones and like the same jeans, there's some pieces that he's like, he'd be happy to invest in. Um, (laughs) so but that's about it. Or it was probably like a gift from someone or something like that. Um, that's funny. The hair is just, it looks like a buzz cut. <laughs> it's just not great. <laughs> it's just like low maintenance. Let's get this done. Let's so go. Funny. I don't care. I've got other shit I need to put up with my life. I just want to make mine simple. That's what I'm getting from him. But then I'm also getting that warmness and yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, absolutely crushed the man. So good. He's welcoming. He's the loving character. He's extremely stingy and he's a leech. Yeah. And he is living off of his brother. Mm. And um, so... For everything else, he can ask the brother to basically pay, but it would be weird for a 40-something-year-old man to ask the brother to buy him clothes. Yeah. So, yeah, he's not really... Like, throughout the season, yeah, he's in the same jeans and belts and changing the, the top wear a few yeah. times, and that's it. And he he's uh, not a strong character. He's like a... Yeah... Like you can see, he's he's simple, he's basic, Mm. uh, he's warm and open, so that he can get something out of whoever comes. He doesn't look like an alpha, like at all. He looks like oh no, no, Mm -hmm. (laughs) on the chain. Like even you can tell, like just with his slouching shoulders. Yeah, in all of them, it's just that kind of deferring to, you know. Yeah, his, his, yeah. Yeah, cool. Okay, let's do the next one. Yeah. My God. New color tone, go for it. I know I have seen it. Again, I don't remember, though. Yeah. Um, I, by the way, half of my brain is still in the fact that I don't remember love, actually, and I'm embarrassed. <laughs> uh, so she is a queen, obviously. Um, just, just, uh, let me, I wanted to cheat, I didn't. <laughs> so, is she having a massive baguette? Yeah, and that's saying she is, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So, she's, she must be in quarantine, because that's me right now. But, <laughs> uh, 
So she is a drama queen. She's a Barbie. Uh, I would say not because she's blonde. She just looks like a Barbie. Um, she's in her own group. She must be the one that everybody but just follows and listen to, because the other one looks like she she needs to hear what she has to say in some way. Uh, her is that shorts or skirt? The short skirt. It's a skirt. Brown skirt. I think. Leather black short skirt, so she's obviously sassy and sexy and feminine. But then she has the top pink, innocent, girly thing to kind of balance it. And then she has the t shirt, she didn't do a good job in balancing, though. I, I don't find this stylish at all. Um, and the other one, I do like the top actually. Is that her bra strap coming out of it? Or is it part yeah, of the top? Right. So that's again not very well uh, put together. I don't know what she's wearing on the bottom, but I do like the top. It looks like a nice top. I like the necklace. Um, well, she has the same necklace in all the photos. And down, so she's having a comfortable cotton and a t shirt on top. She's obviously, um, she just wants to be comfortable and cozy and fit. Um, so she's going through something. She's a queen. She basically, I, I'm not sure she can deal with her problems very well because of what she's wearing on her foot on the short skirt thing as well. Is it like a sandal but with heels? It's a thong sandal. I love it. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, I mean, I wear that, but in Bali. Yeah, so she's obviously not right now in this uh, situation that she is during the course of the movie. She's not being very stylish. She doesn't have the money or the time, but she used to be a queen. I can see that. Yeah, yeah. So this is uh, Main Girls. Um, which yes, is actually course. similar time around Love Actually, maybe mm -hmm. earlier. So for the time, I think this was quite. Did you have a, like a nostalgic feeling before you chose this? I everything. choose everything I'm... randomly. I just go on and go, ooh, that one. <laughs> I guess because like, um, you know, on Stan and Netflix, everyone's going back to all this nost nostalgic thing. So it's pumping them, like bumping them up in the algorithm. So um, Mean Girls. I do want a baguette though. Baguette. So this was 2004. So, um, damn, 16 years ago. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> so I think this was very like early naughty style and typical like American teenager as you would picture them in the movies and stuff like that in terms of dress codes i don't think they'd be allowed to wear that anymore um but yeah i absolutely agree i see like queen bee uh, and confident but also like naive in how she puts herself together because she's a teenager she well put, she's supposed to be a high school student um but yeah but yeah she's definitely like supposed to be the coolest and all this kind of thing so and then the one with the baguette is when they start stuffing around with it so she's just like craving carbs all the time so <laughs> that's why and then she goes into that you know you can see her self-worth goes down she stops wearing like such um you know the stuff she would usually wear and she just goes into comfort mode which is what everyone in the fucking world's going through right now we've all gone from regina george um, as Queen B to Regina George, as you know, eating the the protein bars and the, and the whole baguette. <laughs> so, um, and we can only fit into our sweatpants now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but you can tell like she's got, you know, that very heightened sense of self because like the the necklace R that you know that Diamante or whatever, um, in, but in. You know, heightened R for Regina, her name. Like, who 
who wears that kind of shit? I don't. Uh, that's just weird. Unless, do you have a... Ne- Unless you are a teenager in the early 20s. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, um, but she's definitely, like, like really playing on that, like, Barbie um, yeah. Queen Bee. Yeah. Which I, such a good movie. I'll have to watch it. And then she held it together in real life and the innocent person went cray cray. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, 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 yes, yes, yes. Ooh, gossip. Gossip. <laughs> right, let's go. Next. Next. Uh, I have no idea what this show is either. Um, Fantastic. No idea. Uh, so I'm... I, that guy. I he just looks like a standard boring. I'd say he's getting into the corporate world or he wants to be a professional. Like he wants to be in that corporate, climb the corporate ladder kind of shit. Um and this is his so he's got, I'd say he's a very ordered person. So everything has to have their little thing and he has to always look neat, which is, you know, and so it's just like the basic stuff. So it looks actually quite, even though it's a loose fit shirt, um, straight fit shirt and stuff like that, it actually is quite well fitted. Um, cause you can tell like just how it's hanging on the shoulders and the arms it actually fits in quite well there. And then he's just kept it casual from there. So that's a, a, a choice that he made and the pants fit really well actually as well. So, so he, in terms of like dressing himself, he dresses himself well, but he has no imagination in it at all. So that's why I'm kind of getting like, this guy is a systems worker. Um, and he, yeah, that's how he presents himself. So, and you can tell even, like, just that's what would be for him, him sending you apart, apart from everyone else. is like, I'm the successful one that's going to do all this corporate stuff and do it right by the book and shit like that, as you can see, even just by his friends look much cooler. I want a martini. Oh, my God. Let's play Baccarat and get a martini. It's amazing. <laughs> Everything's solved. <laughs> um, okay, how did that go? Uh, he's boring. He has no imagination. He dresses himself well because he can afford it. That was him. However, he used to be in the corporate world and now he owns this whatever bar. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. This and two broke girls uh, were and will forever after uh, Golden Girls will be my favorite TV series because I like struggling youth yeah. in their 30s or 20s trying to get, because that's who I am. So what's so, the show? Hmm? What's the show? This shirt show is Undateable. Undateable, okay. I've never heard of it. So Undateable is uh, in front of a live audience as well. Oh. And that makes it so much cooler. Yeah. Like, you'll see people just die laughing. So, okay, by the way, all of these characters, these guys, I, I don't know how you not know, especially the one with the beard, Italian-looking guy, because he's hilarious. All of these guys were stand-up comedians. Oh. And this show is a crazy comedy, because sometimes they also do, like, props. And yeah. it's just so funny. And every time they have a guest... Uh, uh, star like somebody who in like they had Ed Sheeran and all of that okay. <laughs> yeah and it's so funny you have to watch it okay I'll, I'll add it to like in front of a live audience that's pretty old school not many shows do that anymore that's really cool they, they have yeah exactly that you have to have balls and then the funny part is I think it was the last episode which I cried. It was so funny, but I cried because I, it was such a short show. Like all the American shows goes forever. But this was like, I think three seasons or two seasons. It's like, what? No. Anyway, so the last season they did in the East Coast yeah. and the West Coast. So they had to do one, one single thing twice. And I saw both. 
it and was it, amazing. That'd be totally different. <laughs> like, no, yes and no. That's the thing. And the vibe of the audience was obviously yeah. different. Yeah. You have to watch it. You'll love it. That's so cool. Okay, cool. I'll check it out. I love comedians doing their shit. But yeah, okay, cool. Oh my God. Awesome. You have to see when they're laughing. Okay. Like when they actually, like somebody said, like two people are talking and they do a prop so they're not, the others are not like ready for it. They yeah. just burst into laughing. Like they don't even care. <laughs> it's so natural and funny. Oh my God. I can't believe I don't know this. Okay. Definitely going to watch this. Good. <laughs> Put it on your ISO list, everyone. Hey, okay, next one. Go. The fuck? He's <laughs> hot. Girl, so everything I chose was super recent and everything you chose was ancient. <laughs> well, this is... This is 70s, 80s? What the fuck? Yeah, this is, this is the... Wait, I'm checking it. I think it would at least be... 80s. 60s or 70s. Wait, or maybe, wait. Maximum 80s. He's hot. He is. I mean, he is. Seventies, I would say. Uh, oh, sixty, sixty-four. Yes. Said sixties. Okay, so the three-piece suit is so sharp, so nice well fitted and um so he's from a high family rich guy mm. um i don't think he's in the government or something he doesn't look a governmenty guy much uh maybe because of the half naked one <laughs> is that a denim shirt no but it has a denim effect it has something like a belt oh thing. my god i had to put that in because that's actually a jumpsuit that's like a short jumpsuit. I couldn't get it all in because uh, it's a jumpsuit. A jumpsuit. <laughs> okay, who is this guy? Is that in a hotel room? Yeah. I don't know. It is a hotel room. Okay, then he could be uh, like a Wall Street guy, or like some man of a power. Uh, very, very confident. The way he's standing, the way his posture, like very good. Um, those, the brown suit. I love the pants, by the way. Um, that crease is so sharp. They have been pressed well. They have been pressed well. I love it. And, the, the, and for 60s, that's quite a, like a, the feet is not like big or anything mm. as a trouser. Um, anyway, um, hair and everything. So he's confident. Yeah. He's a man's man. Obviously he, he, he cares about what he's having on. So he's a stylish. He has a self-respect and of course he can also afford it. Mm -hmm. Um, and he cares how his appearance, like he cares how he's perceived. And so, so he's trying to like, da -da, even if somebody just bring him a piece of note, He's trying to present yeah. himself properly. Um, and he's in his mid 40s, I would say. So it looks like he's a bit naughty. I don't know why, but he looks <laughs> naughty. Oh, Just maybe yeah. that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the hair, hey, the hair is like a, you know, <laughs> yeah, he looks like a. I, I think that's really on point, actually. So this is James Bond. Sean Connery is James Bond. <laughs> Goldfinger. <laughs> so, like, saying, like, he's not quite government. He's, like, the bad boy of the Queen's Secret Service, basically. <laughs> so that's, like, totally on point. Um, and, yeah, definitely confident, stylish. He does care about what he wears. He's got the money to back it up. So um, I think that's all on point. Um, I, just, I just had to put in the the jumpsuit because he's just on it he was at a pool so it was like you know at the start where they give him the mess mission and he's just like he gets out of the pool in like these briefs and then he puts the jumpsuit on i was just like <laughs> <laughs> that's so uh, 
you have to appreciate that in the 60s having and showing your chest hair was not a taboo oh, now you can have a manly manly chest <laughs> you could literally just put your fingers through it and you just get that. your fingers caught because they'll get knotted uh, yeah. my apologies but you have to see that <laughs> All right. Do we have one more? We have no. One more. No, we don't. Holy shit. Yeah, to finish. So that was so much fun this time. You can I have some rewatching to do and you have some new watch to do. This is good just to recommend what we should be watching actually. It's like some I'm I'm getting some like hints and shit. Um, although the Turkish show is, um, the shit is hidden in the fans. <laughs> so this will be a good lighter break. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, please like, follow, subscribe, share, um, and make your suggestions. We're always up to hear what you want us to do. Not yeah. give us some cool shows to do for you and, or send us your snapshots. That'd be awesome. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.